step number one, inflate your inflatables and let them dry off. Once the dirt, once all the dirt and everything's dry, go on to step two. Step number two, vacuum all the dry dirt out of the seams. Step three, scrub the outside of the inflatable with some cleaning solution mixed with water. Scrub it down, use a towel to wipe it dry before any uh, water spots, basically like you're cleaning a car. I mean, it's the same thing. And then step three is you just do the same thing inside or my wife will spray the inside down with the sanitizer. We use the Mr. Clean cleaning solution with mixed with water. And that's really it. You just wanna make sure you get them dried up before you store them any type of long term. These were stored about a week wet. So when you get them out, they're just about, um, you wouldn't want them any, any more than a week, put it that way. Start getting mold, start getting stinky. And um, you gotta take pride in your bounce house, that's for sure. Because you don't wanna show up at the stinky bounce house that smells like old gym socks. Anyway, that's really it for cleaning the bounce house. Think of it like cleaning a car. You wanna get it dry, no water spots. They're a mess, folks. This one's a little shiny right here. I cleaned it, this corner, this whole back side, and that side. But this one is still messy. I'm scrubbing it right now. but it's definitely nasty, no shine at all. You really gotta scrub the outside to get them shiny. Cause look, this gets this film on it, see? Film, nasty. See the water spots? We don't run them out like that. We could, I just can't do it, I just have OCD. Mommy yells at me sometimes because I'm obsessed about how clean the outside looks. But look, see that? That's nasty. Can't leave them wet, rolled up for too long. They start stinking. See, Mommy's got the inside looking beautiful already. And I'm still working on the outside. Anyway, I gotta get back to scrubbing.